Hey there, good evening and welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph, I am the host of this show. This is a show that's dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So it's uh, kind of with some sadness today that again, for a second time this week, we have another great rock star who has passed along. Now outside of Canada, maybe he's not as famous as uh, Jeff Beck, obviously not, but definitely had an impact on me. I'm talking about Robbie Bachman of BTO, Bachman Turner Overdrive, the drummer for that band. Um, the BTO has a somewhat very significant impact on me. They were kind of the very first band that I listened to. Prior to me buying albums and really getting into rock when KISS launched that for me, they were the band that I listened to. I had two or three of their songs on cassette and I played them all the time. Quick Change Artist, Hey You, and You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet were the three tracks. And played them all the time. Like that, those songs quite a bit and, and always thought of BTO, not at the time because I wasn't really in that mindset, but at the time I just listened to them. But later I thought back, I think these guys were my favorite band to start out, right? For about six months there, they were number one and uh, eventually replaced by Kiss, but nevertheless, they had some great albums. Their first four, the one that I got into was actually a compilation. It was the BTO's, the best of BTO so far, great album. And then they had one, this one, which was their debut album. This is a solid album. Um, BTO 2, Let It Ride, taking care of business on that. This is their big Megas Opa. Um, fantastic album, a masterpiece. And then you have Four Wheel Drive, which was a combination of songs left over from that, plus some new stuff. Really solid album too. But the thing about Robbie I remember is that he was a solid presence in BTO even after Randy left and uh, and I know he left for a while too, but you know, always I always think whenever I think of BTO, I always think of Robbie Backman, you know. And him and his brothers, Tim and Randy, along with Fred, formed this band, which I think was is one of the great rock bands in Canadian history, and also a great hard rock band overall. Um, so it's kind of sad that he's passed, and my condolences go out to him and his family and his brothers and and his friends and stuff. They have to they have to deal with that. Robbie was 69 years old. And, uh, you know, he had a good, good musical career. A lot of people never get the kind of opportunities that uh, guys like Robbie get. But Robbie was a good drummer and he was very open and vocal. I still remember the concert that they put on at the penitentiary. Um, he was pretty much standout there, I think. Just really good. Um, I think about, um, you know, all the different times I've listened to BTO over the years and they've always been part of my musical repertoire always they're always one of those bands who never were far away you know I would go for maybe a week or two with or a month or two without listening to them but always I always wanted to listen to them and I and unlike some bands where I have one or two go-to albums I liked all their stuff so I would go to and sometimes go to different albums all the time you know and, and uh, to me, when I think of BTO, I think of Robbie Bachman. I know other people think of Randy Bachman, and that's completely understandable. But for me, Robbie was the guy. He was kind of the glue of the band. Um, him and Blair Thornton kept that thing going. And yeah, just a super, super drummer. I really like him. Um, it's to me, it's, it's sad that he's gone. You know, I, you, you know, you kind of harbor these thoughts in the back of your head that maybe. The four of them would maybe tour one more time and you might get a chance to see them but that won't happen now but so to all those people who enjoyed the music of uh, the bto and you know he was also with a band prior to that called braveheart with his brother as well and uh just you know to all those people who understand what i'm talking about when i'm talking about how big bto was in canada in the 1970s they understand the importance of um, the drummer and specifically Robbie Bachman here. So, uh, rest in peace, my friend. I hope that uh, you're jamming up there in that great 
uh, musical place in the afterlife. So anyways, I hope everybody, um, I hope everybody gets a chance to listen to some BTO today. That would be, that would be, to me, that's, that's how I honor him. I listen to his music and remember him. And that's what it's all about. So have a good evening. And from Prog Monster, goodbye.